Hey everybody, it's your girl Story Time with Miss Ty on deck. And I have it's the I have recorded a couple different videos today in this day. Um living my greatest life still. I hope you guys are too. Let me go and get my seatbelt on so I can continue to live the life that God promised me, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um so really quickly, you know something I want to talk to you guys about? It is almost the month of November, right? Almost the month of November. So election, election time is here, right? And what I wanted to know from you guys is how do you guys feel about your vote? How do you guys feel about voting in general? Do you feel that your vote matters? Do you feel that your voice is being heard? And let me give you guys a little bit about my own personal opinion about some of this stuff. And this is not to, in any way to get um, political and all that other stuff. I got no desire to dance with that personally. Um, but from my standpoint, you know, to be honest with you, I, I definitely, I'm, I, okay, I am not trying to be for or to discourage anyone in any way. Please do you. Always wear the shoes that fit you. Don't ever try to wear no one else's because it's not going to be right. Okay. But I will say that regardless of whatever you choose at the polls, I'm not here to tell you to choose one way or another, because in my opinion, in recent events, it doesn't seem to matter. You know, it really does not seem to matter what you chose unless you chose for the party that is currently um, at the White House. So if you have not, if you're not in favor of that, then anything that you chose aside of that probably wouldn't really matter. Really. I mean, it hasn't been shown that, you know, um, to really have weight in the news, the media and the elections and all that other stuff that's going on. So then my question to you guys is how do you guys feel? about voting do you feel your vote matters you know and whether you feel it matters yes or no will you do it because it is your right to do so right it's our right to do so keep that in mind and if so just I, I'm just curious to see how do you guys feel about that because you know like I said election day is fast approaching right and some people are, are ready to suit up and boot up and run to the election polls and and cast a ballot and I, I definitely salute the people who will be doing that I may be one of them myself to be honest with you um, but um, also for the people who say I, I decide not to vote what would be your reason for not voting right so I'm out and about and running errands I'm going to go pick up Penelope right now um, <clears throat> picking her up from school and um, then I might have to turn right back around and pick up Mimi from her um, her after school programs like a homework club program I'm sure you guys uh, you guys have for the people who do have kids or whatever else all the many activities we do with our children you know can be endless and all of that other good stuff oh no I don't want to park here in no sun good Google movie as I wait for her I'm trying to get some of the sun off me let me see I still don't even think I did well enough but and does anyone out there have any plans for Thanksgiving? If so, I'd love to know your plans. What's your opinion? What do you usually do? Do you even celebrate Thanksgiving? Oh, and to my friends out there in the UK and other different places in different countries, um, because I, I think our, our calendars are different when we celebrate or whatever. Do you guys celebrate Thanksgiving? And if so, when? Um, and how do you guys celebrate? So that's not just for the UK, that's for everyone else outside of um, the U.S. territories. The U.S. people, I, we, we all have our Thanksgiving on the same time. Um, but I, I would love to know how you guys celebrate with you and your family, your loved ones, or your solo. Do you choose not to celebrate at all? And if so, what do you do instead? i just like to know about that stuff. Guys, you guys hear the airplane above? Oh, here comes Penelope. Oh, I should turn the camera around, but then she might get me if I do that. <laughs> all right you guys i'm a brb get back with you in a minute so i'm in here picking up some little quick dessert type stuff it's gonna be on the menu and it's funny thing about it because she don't want to come in right but see you know how it works they don't want to really participate but then they want to be the first ones to reap the benefits of everything else like that y'all know exactly what i'm talking about but no worries Oh, it's a lot of junk food junk in here, you guys, to get caught up in. Hold on. 
Okay, so guys, what is your favorite junk food item that you would say you cannot live without when you go to like your favorite store? I'm not saying this is my favorite store. It's just a store I go to and it's convenient and close. I'm <laughs> not saying like, I have nothing against it or whatever, but I'm just asking you guys a question. Drop it in the comments below for me. What is you guys, like what is the thing that you, if you go to the store and you get to have some junk or whatever it is, right? What's the one thing that you will not pass up on? Drop it in the comments and leave it for me below. All right, after I leave this section, I'm gonna go pick out, I'm gonna go, what you say, ice cream shopping. <laughs> so I will make sure to tune you guys in for that so you guys can see what else. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Hold on, let me see. I'm in this section, y'all. Cookie galore. You see that? Cookie time, cookie time, cookie time, cookie time, cookie time. I used to be in love with these ones right here. Mother's ones. And then, um, also, like I like these. So, oops, y'all can't see that. This one. That one, white macadamia one. And the kids like, um, what do you call that? The Oreos and other stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna grab them. And Oreos. Grab them the Oreos. Do you guys like ever do like a super Sunday type thing where the kids, well, not just the kids, but you know, as a household, you guys get whatever kind of junk you want and just like do an ice cream float with it or something like that and just make it like a sweetness madness. I think I'm gonna go this way, y'all. There's less traffic. And I left my, um, I left my selfie stick at home, so hi. So I left it at home, y'all. So I'm still here with y'all. Um, got some cool whip here. Rich whip, cool whip. They're all the same whip. They're all whipped, right? <laughs> y'all don't tell nobody I just did that, okay? That was between us. <laughs> okay. So. Ice cream time. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Sound off. Now me personally, I prefer like sherbet. Um, but the kids, like, and this is a crazy thing, right? So when you don't live alone and you're just like, you can't ever just shop for yourself, like you, the parents out there will know what I mean, right? When you don't live alone, you can't just shop for yourself when you buy stuff like whatever it is for the house it has to be considered who all likes what because if they don't like it they're not gonna eat it y'all you know and then they're oh, i don't like that i don't like that but it'd be something so you always have to get something that everybody likes the only thing with that is it's usually something that's like really plain like everybody would eat vanilla ice cream you know what i mean but to me that's the plainest ice cream ever so it's always gonna be my least desired or like everybody eat chocolate and i, I, I like chocolate ice cream it's fine but i don't know that i want to have like maybe three 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 times you know what I mean so if I get the yeah anyways um and then if I get Napoleon it has strawberry vanilla and chocolate and that can pass um but I don't necessarily want my ice creams all mixed up I know it's way too much for ice cream y'all I mean my mind is going into like you know it's like dang you really put all that thought into just grabbing a bucket of ice cream um Oh, I think I'll get this one. This looks like a sherbet, y'all. I think everybody will like this one, huh? Look. I, think every, I don't think I'll get no complaints about that one. See that one? Oops, but y'all can't see that. There you go. It's orange, orange sherbet. Okay, guys. So I am finished with my um, shopping at Smart and Final. Let me tell you guys a really quick story right now before I boogie, you, right? Okay, so here's a true story. Many, many moons ago, um, many, many moons ago, okay, I was a um, much younger woman. And anyways, it was about Halloween time, and it was, I remember, I think it was Kmart that I was going to. Anyways, I walked in Kmart, and I knew I felt something. You know, you always, you can feel something that's a little creepy or something that's off, right? Why in the heck did they have these big old enormous when I say enormous I mean they were bigger than they was the size of I don't know like two tires put together size um, spiders 
Now, the, scoot over, please. Let me put this back here. Now, these spiders, of course, they were fake spiders, you guys. But back in the day, day, I had a huge arachnophobia. I mean, a real, a serious, serious fear um, of spiders, right? Thank God I am over that. That is over. But anyways, they had it in there, and it was so unnerving to me. There was some kids, they start, you know, little, little boys, they was playing with them. They picked them big babies up and it was just so disgusting because they even looked like they had hair coming out of them and all this little crazy stuff. And then my anxiety started getting pissed to me. They start picking them suckers up and start hitting each other over the head with it and they was laughing, they was running all by me. Ha ha ha. I likely had a heart attack, y'all. I, I, I don't know, okay? I, I was seconds away from absolutely fainting. Do you hear me? I, yes, that's serious for me. I, I was holding my breath as I walked out the store. You know how they say don't make eye contact. I didn't want the kids to feel like I was being playful with them because if they would have came over, I probably would have passed out right there and there, y'all. It was crazy. Thank God I am over that now. True story. Okay. Moment of shame. Oh, no, no, no. But And then it gets better, though, because I called the store, right? So I called Kmart and I called the manager and I was like, you know what? Uh-uh. You guys have these huge you know tarantula looking spiders out and people have fears and anxieties against stuff like this i understand it's the season but can you guys kind of put some of those away they're all down the aisle you know that people <laughs> you're not comfortable like to walk in the store they're like all down the aisle and i don't know you know the managers at those little places like that be kids you know so you got to excuse some of that not all of the managers i'm not saying that so if you are a manager at kmart or walmart and you grown as hell out here trust me i'm not talking about you um but anyways you know some of those managers just be kids or whatever so anyways i called the manager i'm trying to get this thing caught around hold on y'all i called the manager and i asked the manager if they can um go ahead and take some of those out of there um i'll just put them down because it's uncomfortable and it's you know scaring on some of your customers you know what the kid told me and i say kid because it was a kid as a teenager they said um we cannot take those down because we have to sell those that's our product that we have to advertise and we need to sell those so no we will not be taking those down Y'all heard me correct. The kids said no, they will not be taking them down. I thought I heard it all. I, I had officially heard it all after they said that. I, I couldn't believe that, y'all. I'm like, okay, because, you know, celebrating the thing is one thing, but you got customers saying that they are scared to come in the store and actually buy things. I had been and took all them dang things and put them on the toy aisle so quick and fast and just said and showed a picture of how they can blow up to be what they can be if that's what it costs for me to keep my customers but then again that's just me and that was just you know the person acting as the manager at that time whatever but anyways y'all um i'm back at the car so let me go ahead and jump in a brb okay guys so i'm back in the car and you guys see me running my mouth doing the whole chit chat blah 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 do you want to say hi penelope or no well you're looking cool as a cucumber oh snap watch out now Oh, girlfriend, how you doing? Ain't she cute, y'all? She really my twin. I don't know why she hiding. Well, she, she's my twin, but she's the finer version of me. I love her so much. I love her, love her, love her. She's so party. Look how cool this girl is. <laughs> she's so cool. Anyways, um, guys, so I have something fun coming up for you guys with... um with Penelope, with my girl Penelope, baby girl back there, and my babies JJ and Mimi, they are going to be doing a, um, a video where they imitate me, yours truly, Storytime with Miss Ty, and the person who does the best impression of me, as judged by you guys at home, will win a prize. So you guys make sure to tune in for that. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to go and get up out of here because I don't talk my turn now, y'all, okay? So please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell anyone and everyone your girl's out here doing car vlogs. She is doing store vlogs. She's running her mouth and chit-chatting, and y'all know y'all love it. So come on back for more. Um, like I always say, there's always another story to be told. But for now, we're going to say bye. Bye. Bye.